We have 30 photographers who have just about completed photographing 80 Bronx-based visual artists. Just a way that we could help unify the Bronx artistic community, which was pretty exciting. This is beautiful, she's freestyling it, you know? She's coming up with ideas as she goes. The Bronx is like a phoenix. To me, the Bronx has represented adventure. But I like that it's still kind of underground, too, in a way. <laughs> if I saw this exhibit and I wasn't part of it, I would be like, why am I not in this thing? It's really exciting to have that person with uh, Pulitzer Prize winning photography and such knowledge to help me grow in that way. I rock it and then I keep rocking until I'm like over and above happy. I've lived in the Bronx all my life, except when I was away at school. When I try to get people to come to my studio, to kind of process it in their minds, you know, I'm not going to a different country. And for us, the idea is that the public should see what the visual artists look like. You have all this crap laying around, and then I had this really nice looking lawnmower. How do I make a lawnmower the sexiest thing ever? Excited to see how Chantel captured my studio. Because everything you see in my studio really identifies who I am. Yeah, we went through thousands of photos to edit it down to, well, I think there's about 120 in the show or something. Mm -hmm.